comes to the beef industry, many people picture cattle confined in cramped pens, spending their entire lives without ever seeing sunlight, just waiting for the day they're slaughtered. But in today's video, you'll be surprised to discover a semi-nomadic cattle ranching model. Here, the cows roam freely across vast open prairies, and instead of being herded by cowboys on horseback, the herd is managed by helicopters, the so-called flying cowboys. It might sound like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, but in the modern agricultural world, it's just another day on the job. The cattle industry is undergoing a true revolution. From the thunder of helicopter blades sweeping over endless grasslands to the quiet hum of robotic feeding arms at cutting edge farms, every detail of the cattle raising process is being redefined. In Texas and across North America, the helicopter cowboy model is rapidly gaining ground, painting a new picture of ranching where cattle live in harmony with nature. On ranches spanning millions of acres, helicopters combined with artificial intelligence are rewriting the rules of the industry. There's gonna be a bit of wind on the side of this hill here, good boy. Across fields that stretch to the horizon, thousands of powerful cattle bellow in anticipation, eager for the gates to open so they can charge into the vast prairies, the place they truly belong. In the past, herding such massive numbers of cattle was a grueling challenge, requiring teams of cowboys on horseback, off-road vehicles, and workers braving sun, wind, and rain for hours just to bring the herd to a central point. Now, thanks to aviation technology, especially helicopters, a task that once consumed hours and demanded significant manpower can be completed in mere minutes. Out on the open range, a skilled pilot can replace the labor of 10 to 20 people, guiding the herd with impressive precision and efficiency. Flying low over the cattle, the helicopter can easily spot stragglers, then skillfully steer them back into formation, keeping the herd moving in the right direction all without causing panic or stress. Beyond saving time and labor costs, helicopter herding offers major advantages in herd management. From above, pilots can quickly detect early signs of fatigue, injury, or illness, as well as identify animals that have strayed or become separated. Helicopters can also spot the presence of predators in time for the ranch to take swift, effective action to protect the herd's safety. Helicopters aren't just used for observing and managing cattle from above. At times, they also serve as a unique mode of transport. When a cow wanders into rough or hard-to-reach terrain, a helicopter can quickly return it to the herd. Likewise, prized breeding cattle that would normally require hours of travel along winding prairie roads in a truck can now be moved swiftly by air, especially practical when transporting only a small number of animals. And it's not just the flying cowboys working overhead. On the ground, traditional horseback riders and specialized cattle trucks join the operation, working in sync like a modern cavalry unit. The combination of human skill, mechanical power, and helicopter wings creates a herding operation that's both seamless and highly efficient. Raising cattle on vast open prairies produces beef that's leaner, firmer, and more flavorful, thanks to the animal's muscles getting regular exercise. However, this method requires supplementing their diet with nutrient-rich feed to make up for the energy they burn each day. Grazing on grass alone simply isn't enough, at least not if you want the cattle to grow quickly, fill out, and reach their ideal market weight. After all, no ranch wants to wait two full years only to harvest thin, underweight cattle, even if the meat quality is acceptable. On average, each cow consumes around 22 pounds of feed per day. To meet this demand, we head to the fields, where it all begins with the harvest. To ensure a high-quality feed supply, 
modern ranches invest heavily in harvesting systems for grass, corn, and various types of sorghum. Large, high-powered harvesters are used to cut cleanly, evenly, and quickly across vast areas. After cutting, tedding machines spread the grass to speed up the drying process before it's transported to silage pits. For other crops like corn or sorghum, the process is much the same. Here, they grow and harvest silage corn along with a variety of other crops to create a balanced diet, a key factor in producing tender, flavorful beef. Each ration is precisely calculated to keep the herd healthy while delivering consistent quality to customers. By applying modern farming methods, crop yields are maximized to support cattle production. When it comes to feed mixing, ranches use automated TMR, total mixed ration mixers. Massive machines capable of processing tons of ingredients per hour, ensuring every cow receives a uniform, nutrient-rich portion. Depending on the age and condition of the cattle, the ingredient mix is adjusted for optimal results. For young calves aged 6 to 12 months just after weaning, the diet is high in energy and protein to support rapid growth featuring ground corn, barley, soybeans, and soft hay. Fiber content is kept moderate to avoid slowing weight gain. For finishing cattle before market, the diet is richer in starch and energy, with a higher proportion of silage corn, ground corn, and certain agricultural byproducts like soybean meal. This helps evenly distribute marbling throughout the meat while maintaining firm texture. Would you trust a robot to feed your entire herd of cattle? These farmers do, and here's why. Once the feed is mixed, it's loaded into automated distribution trucks or feeding robots that travel along the feed alleys in the barns. The system delivers precise portions into the troughs, right on schedule and in the exact preset amounts. Some of these machines are even equipped with sensors to detect leftover feed and automatically top it up when needed. As a result, with just a few simple operations, tens of thousands of cattle at massive farms, some housing 40,000 or even 60,000 head, can be fed consistently, cleanly, and thoroughly, without an entire crew shoveling out feed by hand like in the past. By combining time-honored ranching traditions with modern knowledge, we minimize stress on the animals, guided by skilled herders who lead with instinct rather than force. When the cattle reach their optimal age, they begin their final journey from the ranch to the processing facility. Before departure, each animal undergoes a thorough health inspection to ensure there are no signs of illness or injury. They are then guided through a narrow, curved chute with fenced sides. This design mimics their natural movement patterns, eliminating sharp corners that can cause panic and allowing the herd to move forward calmly, without crowding or turning back. At the end of the chute, specialized transport trucks await. Inside, they're equipped with powerful ventilation, soft lighting, non-slip flooring, and even automatic water systems for long trips. Every detail serves a single purpose, to ensure each happy cow is transported safely, cleanly, and as comfortably as possible, from the open prairie to their final destination. Upon arrival at the processing facility, the cattle are guided into the receiving area, where every step is closely monitored to ensure both biosecurity and animal welfare. Some see this as industrial progress, while others view it as cold and mechanical. But for billions of people, this is how food reaches the table. Here, animal welfare is given the highest priority. The slaughter process begins with stunning. To ensure a humane approach, 
Each animal is quickly and painlessly rendered unconscious with a controlled, controlled, mild electric current, a method widely used and recognized around the world. After stunning, the carcass undergoes initial processing steps to preserve its color, freshness, and extend its shelf life. It is then hung on hooks and slowly moved along an automated line. At this stage, workers remove the front and hind legs, a necessary step to ensure the following hide removal process goes smoothly and precisely. Next, the hide is separated from the carcass and carefully removed. Far from being discarded, it is collected, packaged, and shipped to tanneries, where it will undergo multiple treatment stages to become raw material for the fashion industry, from footwear and belts to high-end handbags. Next, the carcass moves into the evisceration stage. Once the hide and internal organs have been removed, it undergoes a final inspection by the quality control team. If it meets all hygiene and safety standards, the carcass is stamped with a veterinary seal or quality certification label, confirming that it meets the requirements for commercial processing. After slaughter, the carcass is placed in a cold storage room overnight, kept at a verified temperature to ensure both meat quality and optimal grading conditions. The following morning, each carcass is carefully examined by certified graders. They assess key factors such as meat color, fat color, and the level of marbling, comparing them against established grading standards. The inspection begins with color evaluation, a detail that directly influences consumer perception and purchasing decisions. Using an industry standard color chart, inspectors hold it against a freshly cut section of meat to determine whether it meets specifications. Each shade represents a different quality and value, ensuring that only carcasses meeting exact standards proceed to the processing line. Through a modern automated grading system, each carcass is sorted by cattle type and grade, ensuring high efficiency and consistency for the subsequent cutting and packaging stages, while also improving worker safety. Once inside the upgraded cutting room, the meat is portioned and packaged according to the exact specifications of each brand or customer. Every cut has its own classification standard, clearly outlined in the plant's detailed guidelines, ensuring the right portion is selected for each specific product. When the carcass reaches the required temperature, it moves to the deboning and butchering area. Here, skilled technicians carefully cut along muscle groups, joints, and grain lines, dividing the meat into commercial cuts such as tenderloin, strip loin, short ribs, chuck, brisket, flank, and round. For trimmings, the plant uses an advanced packaging system with a nitrogen-cooled chamber, a first in the beef industry, to maintain stable temperatures, extend shelf life, and preserve optimal quality. The trimmings are cut into smaller pieces to reduce compression in boxes and create more manageable sizes, then portioned into batches to optimize lean ratios and order accuracy. Each cut is then classified by its intended use whether for grilling, braising, grinding, or export. Every piece is precisely cut, weighed to exact specifications, labeled with a traceable barcode, and sent to the packaging department. Some portions are ground, seasoned, or thinly sliced before being vacuum sealed and packed, ready for distribution to supermarkets, restaurants, or for export to international markets. Have you ever imagined using an airplane to herd cattle? In modern agriculture, that's no longer a futuristic idea. It's an everyday reality. And our journey of discovery doesn't end here. See you out on the next fields, where more fascinating stories are waiting to be told.